Most of us have done it. We park our car, then lose track of the time that was on our ticket, dashing back only to find a traffic warden's got there first. Soon, though, drivers everywhere will be given 10 minutes extra to return to their car after the time on the ticket, if it's parked in a council space. Here in this busy car park in Oldham, not everyone's impressed. These 10 minutes will definitely, definitely go into 12 minutes, 13 minutes, and you're going to get a ticket anyway. Just be a bit more responsible and come back on time. I think it's a fantastic idea, especially if you're sort of going for a coffee with friends and um, you know you've lost track of time, or maybe you're doing a bit of shopping or going for a meeting. It just gives you a little bit more flexibility. I think if you park up for an hour, you know the rules. You get back in that hour. Under the new rules, residents will also be given the power to protest against yellow lines on their local roads. Councils will be banned from using so-called spy camera cars in certain areas to catch drivers on CCTV. And you could avoid a fine if you can't buy a parking ticket because a meter's out of order. The RAC Foundation says councils in England made a surplus of £667 million from parking last year. But council leaders argue it all goes back into parking services. As far as I can see, most councils are sensible, are reasonable and are fair. And I think in any system you will always get people that push the boundaries, um, but it doesn't mean that you should introduce new laws uh, that restrict everybody. That's completely disproportionate to the real issue. The government denies it's rushing in the plans as a pre-election gimmick. There always was a tradition of a 10 minute uh, uh, period of, of grace, uh, but unfortunately uh, councils have encroached on that. We urge them uh, to uh, stick with the guidelines, they've ignored it, so we've changed the law in order to give more trust that grace. Welcome them or not, the new rules will come into force later this month. Catherine Jacob, 5 News, Oldham.